everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies happy monday to all of you happy to see you in here uh thank you for all my subscribers and all the new ones welcome so glad to have you guys and yeah just excited to be back in sharing another one of my babies and uh of course doing another onesie baby i'm trying to get all my babies into onesies and barefoot just adorable and I will go over this little baby with you guys, but first we're gonna go ahead and read the word. Love to put God first. Today we are on success. He holds success, he holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield of those who walk in blameless. Proverbs 2, 7. Boy, I love Proverbs. That's the wisdom chapter. That's a good one there. Dear God, I've set my hand to so many things in, in my life, and I've had a great measure of success in all that I have done. It would be easy to put myself on the back and tell myself I'm awesome. I would never do that. I would never want to. I've always known that you were responsible for all those wins. It is you who has given me the desires of my heart and made all my plans succeed. I praise you, Lord, for the kindness, generosity, and mercy. Amen. Psalms 24. And I do have to say that God surely has blessed me in many ways. I've been asking him to help me with this channel, to help it to grow as far as my business part and, um, you know, selling babies uh, to be a success because I'm a painter. I'm an artist. God gifted my hands and I want to be able to, you know, um, just put out these beautiful babies in a budget way. So budget babies, easy babies for you guys to afford, but to have them painted and sealed so, you know, that they look like a, you know, two, three thousand dollar baby, but at a fraction of the cost. And we'll go over this is another one I will definitely be putting, you know, uh, buying and selling. He's a little old man version. It only comes in the, the old man version. He's a preemie size baby, but a good size. We'll go over all that. But um, I'm just excited and um, God has been helping me sell babies. Um, I've sold, I think, six or seven so far and I've been going for about four months. So I thank God for that. Um, and I just hope that you guys do get a chance to buy one of my babies because you'll be really happy. I know they're not COA babies, but um, the COA of it, the artistry is me. I do all the um, artist work on it. Eventually, I'm getting up on Etsy and I will have a website. Um, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. And I know a lot of you like your COA babies. But um, I, you know, am the artist, so the artistry, the work on it, the reborning was done by myself. And definitely, you want to try these babies out. They're just amazing. And I'm not just saying that. You can ask and love with reborns. She's got a channel over a million subscribers, and she talks about the eBay, Amazon babies, Ivita, uh, Volance, AliExpress, uh, Cosdal, all the different ones. He came from Cosdal, all the different ones or whatever, and um, how great they are, how great the silicone is and everything. And definitely try out one of my babies. You won't be disappointed, and you're going to get it at a fraction of the cost. So, yeah. Um, I just keep asking God and he's been helping me be a success in my life. Um, I've got other areas that I'm working on, but God has surely been good to me. He surely has. Father, my heart begins to beat almost out of my chest every, every time I think about it. How can so much injustice go so long, unchecked and unpunished? And yet I must do as your word instructs. I must be still before you and wait patiently for, your, for, for you. I must not... Uh, fret when men succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes thank you for reminding me that i am not the judge you are amen psalms 37 7 again we are not to judge only god can judge so please don't judge anybody um, know that none of us walk uh, sin free only jesus did every one of us live in glass houses so we shouldn't throw stones it even says a verse of that in the bible how they wanted to stone to death a um a person that they called like a harlot or a whore. And uh, Jesus had said, those without sin cast the first stone and none of them could because we all live with sin. And thank God we have a Lord and Savior who died so that we can be forgiven of our sins because we cannot walk a sin-free life. There's no way. I mean, even just getting angry one day is a sin and who doesn't get angry on a daily basis, you know? So I'm just grateful for our Lord and Savior and I'm grateful that God is here and we've got the evil schemes out there. We do and they're going to judge us and all that, but don't take it to heart. Um, ignore it. Walk away. Turn the other cheek. Let God be the ultimate judger, you know? Let him be the ultimate judger. Just like on, um, we talked about 
about uh, copy babies, you know, and some people get so angry about that. Well, one, I didn't know they were copies. Some of the ones that I have, this is not a copy. But some of the babies, of course, that I got were copies and stuff, and I didn't know. But, of course, you know, you don't want to judge people. I'm, I'm not saying anybody judged me, but I'm just saying people do, and they get so mad, yet those babies are readily available to buy. And if that's all a person could afford, just let them, you know, don't judge them. You buy what you want and let them buy what they want is how I look at it, you know. And don't worry. God will let these artists be successful because if they have a good heart and all of that, God will let them continue to sell their babies. They're not going to lose out because people still want the real ones, so they're not going to lose out on their jobs. Lord, I feel like I've been ready and waiting my whole life. Now everything in me uh, wants to rush out and take the lead. But you made it clear that this is not the right time. You're asking me to wait for just a while longer. I'm going to do it your way, Lord, always your way. I knew there is no, I know there is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against you. So I'm going to stay put, do it right. Amen. Proverbs 21, 30, another wisdom chapter. Uh, what a great verse there. Um, you know, sometimes we want everything right now. Like I want my business to just take off. But it's like, Angel, you're not even four months in and you've already sold six babies. So just be, you know, like I've got that one up for sale, that baby right now, the baby girl. I'll stick it up on the screen there again for you guys if you're new. Um, you know, pat her around for, I don't know, a little under two weeks or whatever. And I'm just thinking, why didn't she sell right away? I mean, everybody wanted her in the very beginning. What's going on? And it's like God's saying, just wait, the right person will buy that baby, just like that little boy. I had him available for, gosh, almost a year, like nine months, and finally he sold. God says, just be patient. It'll go to the right owner. The right owner will buy that baby and will be very happy, you know, with the baby bought. My babies are final sales, um, but you are going to get a great baby with great box openings, and I barely charge anything for them. Um, you know, I just... I can't wait for me to get myself out there, my name out there, and people being so pleased with my art. Father, thank you for, me, for taking my failures and transforming them into success. Amen. Because we all have failures. We all fail in life, but we could take it, like it says, and um, taking the failure and transforming them into success. They definitely can. So let's, you know, let's think about that, you guys. Be praying to God constantly for that help. The next one we're on is suffering. That should be good. So start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. This book here is a tool. This will not get you into heaven, but what's in this book will get you into heaven because it'll teach you how to live. So definitely pick it up and read it. And I'm saying that to myself. I've been trying to get it caught up on my reading. I've been doing somewhat okay, so I'm going to continue. But yeah, just get a great personal relationship and read. You're going to love this word. You're going to love it. You're going to love the word. And when you know that you have eternal life forever in heaven, boy, that's a good, good feeling. Sorry, I just had to get a little sip there. But all right, you guys, let's go on to, oh, I don't even know if I told you, this is Baby Chester. I would have put it in the beginning, um, even though I didn't, I don't think I said his name. I hope I did. Uh, but this is Baby Chester, my little old man baby. He's in his sleeper when we did those sleeper babies. Now we're going to do a onesie on him. And his onesie is this cute one here. It's blue and white. Now, he is a micro preemie, so this will fit him great. This is a preemie sleeper. He fits into preemie. He is uh, like more of a micro preemie. His head is big. His body is small, but still, these onesies fit great. I mean, it even fit on my little uh, tiny 25 gestational, my Abel. And it fit on that because it's a onesie. It can be scrunched up. This is a Carter's preemie. Uh, it's got two dogs on it, like looking at each other and talking. I don't know if it's a mom and a dad. It looks like it. Or a mom and a baby. And it's a uh, light uh, blue and white. So it's a baby blue and white stripes. And it's got the snaps in the cross and we're gonna in the crotch. And we're gonna do this hat. And the hat just says N Y S B and it's blue and white. I thought, oh how perfect, because he can wear regular size hats. That's what's great, like newborn hats, because he's got a big head, big floppy head. And we're gonna do this nook. He's without his nook right now. Um, he can, you know, he likes them and then doesn't, so uh, he was sleeping just fine. You can hear he's sleeping just fine. So we'll give him this nook today because I think once we get him up and stuff like that, he'll want his nook. He's got his little monkey. So we're going to take his little monkey from him. Look how cute that is. It's perfect size for him. Perfect little monkey size for him. And that's a TY. So yes, we're going to turn you this way, Chester, so we can change you and hopefully you'll stay sleeping. I don't think we need to powder him. He does have a beautiful umbilical cord, you guys. Uh, the, you know, where they cut it in the hospital, and I added the actual umbilical cord to it. This is an, an umbilical cord. You guys don't get that mistaken. He does have boy parts. He is atomically correct, but this is the um, umbilical cord 
And there's a little actual clip, like in the hospital. I got that from Jaden um, through a box of stuff for Michael Creamy Babies. And I thought, oh, this would be great. And I keep it on him. I love, that's one of my favorite features on this baby is that little umbilical cord he has. And I will never get rid of that. Sometimes I tuck it in the diaper. Sometimes I just let it sit over the diaper. But I just love that. It's like newborn, you know, he's a micro preemie, so couldn't come home yet. And I don't think they would, you know, take that off quite yet on him. Um, but I just think it's amazing. When I paint him, he does have to be painted. He is a baby I need to paint. Um, and when I paint him, he's going to just look so cute. I'm really going to emphasize on all his wrinkles. He's got so many wrinkles, you guys. Look, at we'll take his hat off. He's got a really big floppy head. His head goes way back, you guys. He's very floppy, uh, squishy. He's a 20 Ecoflex. He does have some art. He does have rooted eyelashes, which is awesome. They're very fine and beautiful. And then he's got the painted eyebrows. So I'm just going to be giving him a lot of art and um, giving him that newborn skin look. And uh, uh, he's going to look great. I'll just bring him up quick here to the camera so you guys can see. He did come with the open mouth. They opened it. It's just straight across. They did when I got him. So they all come open. But look at the little rooted eyelashes, the eyebrows. Look at that face. Oh, my gosh, that little grumpy old man. And then you see the body, the umbilical cord. And then when you get down, you see the tiny little feet. They're so tiny compared to his head. His head is bigger, but sometimes when preemie babies are born, their heads are bigger until they grow into it, just like their feet and hands. But I will be doing all the art. And I love, I think it's on this finger, is it? Or this one? One of his fingers has a little, uh, like, skin tag. It's Oh, it's on the inside of this one. He has a little skin tag. I'll show you that if you see it right there. It was just a little extra, um, oh my gosh, sorry. little extra, um, uh, silicone there, but I'm going to use it as a skin tag. I think that's great. I want to keep that in there. But look at that face. So cute, right? You guys, so cute. He's adorable and very, very floppy. I'm holding it just so you guys can see, but he's very floppy. There's his back and he's got a cute round bum. He really does. He's got a little butt, but a round bum. He really does. We don't need to um, powder him. He still feels really good. So we're going to go ahead and just get the onesie on him. My last video I did for yesterday with Octavia um, was uh, a little bit long. Sorry about that, you guys, but I was just discussing on a few things. So hopefully you guys watch that whole video through. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos small. I apologize for that, but definitely watch that one through. I was just explaining about what had happened to her. She's my boo-boo baby and how I inquired all these, you know, and how I learned about it. God, you know, will take a bad situation and make it good. He will. He will make it good for you. Look at this. It's going to fit him so good. Wow. Yeah, this fits you good. So see, he does fit into preemie size, um, but it would be a smaller preemie. So definitely look for the smaller preemies or whatever, but this really fits him good. And it looks so cute on him. I like the blues on him. Adorable, adorable. And then, like I said, his hat, he wears uh, newborn size hats because he's got a nice big noggin. So an oversized noggin. And look at this, you guys. He can turn his head. And I love that feature on him. Just so adorable. And then we're going to go ahead and get his nook in. I'm going to put a little bit of KY. If you're new, I use KY, um, just a water base. Don't get anything in it. Just get a water base, and it works great because these are silicone babies, and the pacifiers are silicone. So you really want these uh, nooks to just slide right in. And he does take full-size um, pacifiers, So, but we just got to slide this one in. There we go. It's in adorable might be a little big for him but it's cute we'll give him back his monkey and let me turn him towards you guys so you can see this beautiful baby chester kane and yeah we love him i wanted to give him that old name since he's a little old man i just want to peek and see how he's doing yeah he's in frame isn't he adorable you guys oh my gosh my husband and I just love this baby. Can't determine which one we love the most. Um, I'm really attached to Bella right now, my vinyl. But um, I love this little guy. And doesn't he look cute in his onesie with the bare feet? Boy, you should see what it looks like in here when I'm all done. I'm going to do just a little clip walking around and showing you every baby in their onesies with their bare feet. This has been fun just checking this out. And it's nice and warm here. I don't even have the air on, so the babies are fine. And uh, dressed just so cute. All those little baby feet. I just love it. I, who doesn't love baby feet, right? Mwah. Love those baby feet. But all right, we're going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed those verses today on success. And you can definitely have success. Just pray. God has got a perfect purpose and plan for each and every one of us. 
So just know that and know that um, you can pray for anything and God will get you through each and every step um, you know, you take. Just take one day at a time. God says, I don't promise you it tomorrow, so focus on today and don't worry about the day's uh, worries. I mean, don't worry uh, about tomorrow because today has enough worry for itself and worry doesn't make anything better, just causes health issues and stuff. So try not to worry about things and just, you know, let God, let go and let God, let him worry for you and take care of things. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go. Chester's going to blow you a kiss with his nook Mwah. and say, I love uh, God. I love daddy and mommy. And then I love all my aunties and uncles and grandmas and grandpas out there. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.